Have you ever wondered why oceans are so important? Let's embark on an adventure to uncover the secrets of the deep blue. Oceans, my friends, are vast bodies of salt water that cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Imagine that, if Earth were an apple, the oceans would be the juice making up most of that apple. These enormous water bodies aren't just for splashing around during vacations or for the fish to call home. No, 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 they play a much bigger role. A role so significant that life as we know it wouldn't exist without them. From the tiniest plankton to the largest blue whale, oceans are teeming with life. They're like giant soup bowls brimming with all sorts of fascinating creatures, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Or should I say, the peak of the wave. So are you ready to dive into the deep blue sea and find out more about oceans today? Did you know, our oceans have a big job of controlling the weather? Yes, that's right. Our mighty oceans, covering over 70% of the Earth's surface, act like a giant thermostat, helping to regulate the Earth's temperature. Imagine the oceans as a massive, solar-powered heating system. When the sun's rays hit the ocean surface, they warm up the water, creating a cozy blanket of heat. This heat doesn't just stay put, though. The ocean currents act like a conveyor belt, transporting this warm water from the equator to the poles and back again. Now, you might be wondering, what's this got to do with the wind blowing through my hair or the rain falling on my umbrella? Well, here's the cool part. The warm ocean water heats up the air above it, creating areas of low pressure. This warm, moist air rises upwards, and cooler air rushes in to fill its place. That's what we call wind, and when this warm, moist air cools down it forms clouds and voila, we have rain. So the oceans play a major role in creating the weather patterns we experience every day. But that's not all. Oceans are also like a huge oxygen factory. Tiny marine plants, known as phytoplankton, live near the ocean's surface and produce oxygen through a process called photosynthesis. Believe it or not, these microscopic powerhouses produce about half of the world's oxygen. Yes, that's right, every second breath you take could be thanks to these tiny plants. So whether it's a sunny day at the beach, a windy day at the park, or a rainy day indoors, we have our oceans to thank. They work tirelessly, absorbing and distributing heat, creating wind and rain, and providing us with oxygen. They're like the Earth's personal climate control system, ensuring conditions are just right for all forms of life to thrive. So, next time you breathe in, remember, you might be breathing oxygen from the ocean. You've heard of the water cycle, right? But did you know oceans play a huge role in it? Let's take a deep dive into the story of water and the star of this show is, you guessed it, our world's oceans. Imagine the oceans as a gigantic natural water factory. They cover about 70% of our planet, and these vast bodies of water are constantly working, helping to keep the water cycle going strong. So, what's the water cycle, you ask? It's like Mother Nature's very own water park ride, but instead of slides and tubes, we've got evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Let's start with evaporation. This is where our oceans really flex their muscles. As the sun heats the ocean, the surface water gets warm and turns into vapor rising up into the sky. The oceans, being the major water bodies on Earth, contribute to about 86% of global evaporation. That's a lot of steamy action. Up next is condensation. As the water vapor cools down in the higher, chillier parts of the atmosphere, it transforms back into tiny droplets of water, forming clouds. Think of it as a massive gathering of water droplets having a party in the sky. The final stage of our water ride is precipitation, when those partying water droplets in the clouds get too heavy, they fall back down to the earth as rain, sleet, or snow. And guess where a lot of that water ends up? You got it, back in the ocean. So the ocean is like a big water factory and a huge reservoir all rolled into one. It's a continuous system, a never-ending loop of water transformation, all thanks to our oceans. They're not just home to amazing marine life, or a place for us to cool off during the summer, they're hard-working water wizards keeping life on Earth possible. So, the next time you're caught in a rain shower, remember you have the oceans to thank for it. So, without the oceans we might not have any rain? Guess what? The oceans are like a huge watery city full of life. Now when we say life, we don't just mean the big splashy whales and sharks you might be picturing. Sure, they're part of it, but there's so much more. The oceans are a buzzing hub of biodiversity, teeming with creatures of all shapes and sizes. Let's start small, with the tiny critters you might not even see if you took a dip. We're talking about plankton, the little drifters of the ocean. They're so small, you'd need a microscope to see some of them. But don't let their size fool you. These tiny powerhouses form the base of the ocean food chain, 
and produce half of the world's oxygen. That's right, every second breath you take, thank the plankton. Moving up the size ladder, we find a kaleidoscope of fish species. From the vibrant clownfish hiding among the sea anemones, to the giant sunfish that can weigh as much as a small car, these finned fellows are a vital part of the ocean's ecosystem. And of course we can't forget the ocean's big residents, majestic whales, playful dolphins and the ever-mysterious octopuses. Each one plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of life in the ocean. But the ocean isn't just a home for these creatures, it's also a source of food for millions of people around the world. Whether it's a fisherman casting his net off the coast of Africa, or a sushi chef preparing a meal in Japan, the ocean's bounty nourishes people far and wide. And it's not just about food. The ocean also provides livelihoods for countless people. From the fisherfolk who make their living from the sea to the scientists studying its depths, the ocean is a source of income and inspiration for many. Isn't it amazing how many living things call the ocean their home? It's a bustling blue metropolis teeming with life and full of surprises. So next time you look out at the ocean, remember it's not just water. It's a world within our world, a vital part of our planet that we need to protect and cherish. Now we've seen how important oceans are, but did you know they're in danger? Yes, our beloved oceans, the mighty force that surrounds and sustains us are under threat. It's a sad reality, but a reality nonetheless. The primary culprits, pollution and overfishing. Let's dive a little deeper. Imagine a plastic bag fluttering in the wind. It might seem harmless enough, but when it finds its way into the ocean, it can cause serious harm to marine life. Turtles, for instance, may mistake it for a tasty treat like a jellyfish. But unlike a jellyfish, a plastic bag isn't edible and can cause severe health problems or even death for these beautiful creatures. And it's not just plastic bags. Every year, millions of tons of plastic waste enter our oceans, posing a threat to marine life, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. Then there's overfishing. It's like taking too many cookies from a cookie jar. If we keep taking and taking without giving anything back, soon there will be no cookies left. Overfishing depletes fish populations faster than they can replenish themselves, disrupting the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. It's like pulling a thread from a woven tapestry. If we pull too hard the entire thing might unravel. So how can we help? Well, it starts with understanding and respect. We need to recognize the value of our oceans and treat them with the care they deserve. We can reduce, reuse, and recycle to cut down on pollution. We can support sustainable fishing practices to ensure there are fish in the sea for future generations. And of course, we can educate others about the importance of oceans and the need to protect them. After all, knowledge is power. And when we use that power for good, we can make a world of difference. Remember, we need the oceans and the oceans need us. We are all in this together, so let's do our part to ensure that our oceans continue to thrive. Not just for us, but for all the wonderful creatures that call it home. Before we say goodbye, how about a quick quiz to see what you've learned? Let's dive in. First question, can you tell me what role oceans play in the weather? That's right. Oceans help regulate the Earth's climate by absorbing sunlight and distributing heat around the globe. Second question, how do oceans affect the water cycle? Absolutely correct. Oceans are a major source of evaporation, leading to cloud formation and eventually rain, thus playing a key role in the water cycle. And the final question, why is it important to protect our oceans? Yes, indeed. Oceans are a vital habitat for countless species, they regulate our climate, and they're a major part of our water cycle. Protecting them safeguards our planet and all its inhabitants. Great job, ocean explorers! Don't forget to subscribe to Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more fun learning. Until next time, keep exploring.